Hi Moustache fans, this is Antoine from Surf Moustache and today we are going to talk about two models from the brand Paisel. But first do not forget to subscribe and click on the little bell right here to be sure to not miss the next video. Hmm? What's that? What's happening? Strange. Oh no, what's happening? What's happening? Show yourself. I know you're here. Oh no. Oh no, I told you. Okay, no, what do you want? Fins? Wax? <laughs> That's all I have, I promise. Oh, come on, hey, hey. We're in the same thing, man. No? Oh. So we are going to talk about the Ghost and the Ghost Pro, the latest version. But to understand the Ghost Pro, we've got to talk first about the Ghost. So the idea behind this board is you just take a short board, a step up short board and you just cut the nose and you keep the rest of the board pretty much the same. Uh, so you'll have a wide point forward and you'll have also more rocker in the tail than in the nose but we'll come to that later. And if you choose it shorter you can also ride it as a normal short board. So this board is clearly made for good waves so for rip brakes, point brakes, beach brakes even. Clearly designed to go fast and shred the wave and if you choose this board you need a certain level because if not things can get pretty wild. Eh? If we take a look at the outline we can see that we've got quite a thin outline because we want this board to be able to, to throw big turns in hollow waves so we want to work the, the pocket of the waves that's why it's quite thin in the end. And if we look at the white point, it's quite further up on this board because we want this board to be easy to paddle in big waves. We want to be able to generate speed through sections. That's why up, this is a bit further up than usual. And when we look at the tail now, we can see that it's quite thin compared to the nose. So the tail, we've got here uh, a round pin tail to allow you to, to, to make short turns, yeah, because can, can go pretty quickly in the hollow wave so you need to be able to react quickly as well. When we look at the nose we can see that it's quite shorter and a bit wider. Uh, John Paisel just uh, cut off the extra volume. So let's rock now with the rocker okay. So when we look at the nose we can see we've got clearly a medium to low rocker in the nose. We've got we want something able to create speed when you when you put your weight uh, on your front foot and then in the tail what we have is quite an aggressive rocker in the end yeah because we just want something high performance that's why we got that here yeah so quite a nice mix in the end the rays are tapered for more performance and sensitivity so the bolt will bite into the wave as you go onto one of the rays this bolt carries also quite a good amount of volume under your chest and this is super good for easy paddling and generating speed and when we look at thickness around the tail you can see it's quite thin because we want something uh, able to give you hold and performance that's why we have something quite thinner and when we look at the concave we can see we've got a single to a double concave the single concave is here to keep the water between the rails and as the water is going from the single into the double concave so the water flow will be split in two and this is made to give you a quicker rate to rain transition to give you more maneuverability under your back foot so, so it's clearly made for more performance and clearly a vertical approach to throw big maneuvers and we like that. Yeah. So now why the Ghost Pro? So the Ghost Pro compared to the Ghost is narrower, so narrower, more narrow, narrower, a bit difficult for me and thinner. This means more performance for good waves and good surfers. So if you want this is uh, a more versatile and refined step up so there is less volume therefore a more technical board as well and now what do i think about these boards but i think these boards are great we can't say they're not so i think these boards are great especially when it comes to good waves and if we take the ghost um, the ghost you don't need especially powering wave for it to work uh, you don't need to be a pro level surfer to fully enjoy the potential of this board yeah i think obviously you need to know how to use a short board and if you are an intermediate surfer I think this board will be more a goal to reach than the board you actually need right now. And I really like boards showing that you can charge good waves 
without having a huge board under your feet. What we could say to conclude that is go short but go big. That's it for the Ghost and the Ghost Pro. If you have any questions, go to the comments below. And if not, do not forget to subscribe to the channel to be sure to not miss the next video, super important. And if not, we just see each other in the next video. Yeah, see you around. Yoo.